When a child is born with developmental disabilities, they're told too many times by too many people what they can't do instead of what they can do. My dreams were to help people with diverse abilities in any way I could. Christian, I'm just gonna share the screen. He started the newsletter as it is, then more and more people came on board to support. My name is Kristen Shaw. I want to share my inspiring story on how I overcame autism barrier. The pregnancy was very, very quick. I had to have an emergency C-section. He wasn't breathing when he was born. They had to bring him back um, to life. He was in intensive care unit for two months, but we didn't know about deficits. <laughs> Whoops, sorry, honey. You did it almost my eye, Mom. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> and then when he was finally four and a half, they tested him, and that's when they told me that he was mentally challenged. No longer will we stand alone. We all need to hold our head up high and be proud of who we are. The newsletter is made because I had a dream to be a professional in a field and I couldn't go to university, so I wanted to do something else that I could do, like a newsletter. Christian's always looking for new ideas. I mean, he does an amazing job of going out and promoting the newsletter. I have interviewed people in USA, Australia, and the UK. I interviewed people all over the world. He's just so authentic, I think, in, in what he's doing that he reaches out to people and um, they respond. How many of you see yourselves as self-advocates? Raise your hands. It's hard to think of him as a slow learner because of so much he has accomplished. And that's what Christian really wanted to take away from the newsletter, to let people know just what they are capable of doing. It's almost like he's got this ability to share his dreams and bring people into his excitement. And that's the thing about Christian, you know, he dreams big. Remember, there's nothing wrong with you. We all have the same needs. We all have to eat, sleep, and have love and acceptance. I couldn't be more proud. If I had to do it over again, and if I uh, got to choose whether I had a special needs child or not, I wouldn't do it any differently. <laughs>